wandering one. How can I help you? May they rest in peace. It's the rune you needed. The three special runes react with each other and connect to the illusionary lands. You step forth into the illusionary lands. The goddess's powers of resurrection cannot reach you. A ground shaking thud that parts the clouds, the ancient dragon falls. You have returned it to its eternal sleep. The immortal dragon slumbers once again. Congratulations, hero. With your own hands, you have defeated a myth.
The dragon's crown lay near the ancient dragon. It was the cause of this incident, but you can make it a symbol of hope. Without the demons, this is just an ordinary crown. However, the minds of the people have ascribed great power to it. You kneel to offer the dragon's crown to the new queen, Vivian. The crown of the Elysian king fits her well. With the legendary crown, the royal scepter, and orb, none can deny her rightful ascension to the throne. The dragon's crown will be a symbol of power, inspiring fear in the hearts of any who would threaten Hydland. It represents the fact that warriors who defeated the mightiest foes reside in Hydland and will rise to defend it from any threat. Queen Vivian invites you to work at the castle. You value your freedom, so you politely decline. However, you vow to work for the queen whenever the need may arise. In turn, she blesses you with the royal favor for life. As you exit through the Great Gate, many soldiers turn and salute. You have completed a legendary accomplishment. Queen Vivian would lead Hydland well, reclaiming its past borders and reasserting itself as a powerful nation. The tale of the Dragon's Crown ends here. Despite accomplishing enough for myriad lifetimes, your story is just beginning. Among historians, there is a lot of doubt about what you truly accomplished, likely because you never spoke of it yourself. Only when Hydland's official records of the hero who defeated the ancient dragon were published did your deeds come to light. Those records chronicle your deeds in many lands. At the end of each, you return to Hydland and drink at the Dragon's Haven Inn. The tales patrons claim you told, of the land in the sky, or the One Ring, become oral tradition passed on for generations. The last mention of your name says you ventured far into the sea in your seventies, but even after a half century, some still wait. <laughs>